Hey everybody, welcome back to Chad's Trains and Things. We're going to continue working on T-Track modules. I'm going to start taking the farmhouse and everything off this module and placing it on the two-foot module that this is going to go on in the horse ranch. So I'm going to start laying stuff out. We're doing this while tearing apart the one-footers to get the stuff off. So this and the horse are on two one-footers and I want them all on one two-footer. That way I got my farm's four-foot, two two-foot modules. So... Yeah, I'm going to get to work on that, and I'll check back with you. Oh, first I'm going to solder this track, and then we'll work on it. I'll be back with you. Oh, I moved it underneath the layout before I took pictures of it, but it's pretty well cleaned off. i got to reuse it. That's coming off the backdrop. I'm getting new backdrops for it all. I broke the track stand. It's good. It's a good module to go. It's going to probably end up with another scene built on it, but i got it sitting over here to dry. And here's the farmhouse outhouse type area and i'm just gonna start placing figure out where i want i'll clean the areas off a lot more as you can see there's glue and everything all over it so i'll make sure i clean off where it's gonna go to get a good flat lie of the farmhouse cool there's a farmhouse on a base some model power oops there you go it's like my people and the dog and all that i didn't tear any of that up same with turn around pump anything on here was able to stay so that's kind of cool. Same with the outhouse. It's on its own little stand. Yeah, so, so I'll put them in. It's probably going back here. I'm probably going to angle it like it was. because I like the angle instead of everything being flat and straight and all that. So it's probably going to go just like that. Then a new row to come in here and curve and go. Then that can be for the horses. But yeah, I'll work on that and I'll check back in with you a few. Next, I'll go get the other one foot module so I can get the horses off. See you then. Now for part two, let's remove the shed and everything off this module for the horse shed and all that to be placed on a two foot module. So, let's have some more fun. In case anybody's wondering, this right here is basically what I use to glue everything down. So the buildings and the trees are all glued with this. And it's a Mod Podge water for the scenery. So basically I'm just spraying my water alcohol combination or all that and soak in and it pretty well just lets everything come off of it so i just spray it down let it soak a second and i'll start pulling it all off and just like that everything's off this one footer now i just did a quick clear up when i go to the track still good it works track wasn't messed with it'll run i'll put in when i go to actually do something else with it i'll take more time i'll Spray it, let it really soak, and I'll get this down to pretty much just the board because this glue will all come off. But for now, I just got what I wanted off. Clean, did a big clean kind of quick scrape on it all. Now I'm going to set it off to the side and I'm going to bring back up the new two foot and get stuff on that. Okay, I got the basic scenery down, kind of the rough outline for the road where it's going. It does meet up with the barn. I had the barn module out. So everything soaked down with white glue. And I'm going to let it dry. And of course, like always, I'll have to have places I'll have to come fix and clean up. And make it look better where the glue kind of does still spread stuff around. But I'll show you. There's the farmhouse, basically. There's the horse shed. So I need to clean the roof off of it. It's got some stuff on it, but I ain't messing with it right now because of alcohol on it. Yeah, once I start getting the trees and everything, vehicles on it, scenes built back up. Clean it up some here and there. Needs to be due. I think it's going to look pretty good. Oh, one casualty though. I do need to order a new fence to go around here for the horses. I kind of figured I wouldn't be able to get that off and I couldn't. It just like destroyed it trying to remove it. So I do need to order a new fence. So I'm probably going with the Woodland Scenics. Little like fence to go around there for the horses. So yeah, now I just got to let this dry. Then I can come back and start working with it again after the fact. So I'll check back with when I get back to work on it all. Okay, while I'm waiting for the scenery to dry, I did get the Woodland Scenics rail fence in. This is what's going around the horse shed. Keep the horses in. So we'll get to work putting that in. And I did order in two packs of the new, of new oops, if I get a light here, the unit joiners. Because like I said, every one of my modules are getting new rail joiners put on them just because they've been on like this one already has been replaced as you all saw so yeah i'm gonna 
Go back. Hopefully everything's dry enough. Start adding fence, start adding fine details and fix any spots where the scenery isn't there and you can see the wood. Okay, back started working on it. Started gluing some of the fine detail vehicles down. I did get the propane tank down. I touched up a lot of areas why it looks wet again, where you can kind of see. Kind of like how rough like the road and everything looks like water has mudded up the old farm paths and the trucks driving over it and everything. And I've started putting the fence down. I got that piece down. I got that. It's gonna go like the fence goes on past the scene. And so I got stuff laid out. It's gonna be a slow process, but I'll get the fence on and get some horses put back on here. Get some trees put on it. Because it's definitely missing trees. So I'll check back when I get the fence done and get some more stuff put on it. Okay. The fence is in place. See there's glue. I put a couple trees back. I had to put this tree back there to kind of block the edge of the fence off because it's just shy of being up. So I just kind of got to hit like a tree grew. A couple trees are growing back there. I will put more trees and bushes in, but see it's kind of wet. I did have some a lot of spots I had to touch up with scenery and foam, so I've done that. So I'm going to let this all dry before I start adding the trees back. And I did add like a like little walkway going back to the outhouse just for something different. But I'm going to give this all about an hour or so to dry better. And then I'm going to start planting a lot of trees. Of course, get the kids with the ducks, geese back on it, and the horses and everything back in their pasture. Nothing got. I got to put one big tree in the middle somewhere, probably right there. Big tree. I think I'm gonna put a small tree up here, maybe too. But we'll see. So I'll check back with you when I get to that. Okay, we're back looking at the farmhouse and horse shed and horses. As you can see, I've done quite a bit of work. Got trees added around a lot more. Got some electric poles, and lights. They don't work. They're just painted, look like they're on. Electric pole back here. Got the kids with the geese back on her riding bunch more trees and bushes and then the few horses are back in here where they go big thing i'm doing different as you notice there's electric pole back here is i got all the poles and before on all the modules i had the electric poles running through here i'm not putting them back up there the reason why they're in the way of something derails, putting trains back on. They got knocked over, broke, and everything else all the time. And in fact, the other two-foot module with the barn and everything on it, I'm going to remove them from the front, too, on that and do a few things different. But, let the trees and all the figures before I do a whole lot more in here dry so I'm not knocking horses down or the little kids down playing or trees over. So I think that's going to wrap this video up. So... When I come back to you in the next video, I'm going to weather the rails on here and put new rail joiners on. Then I'm also going to start messing with the other two-foot module. It's got the barn on it, cleaning it up and changing a few things up on it. Then maybe as I'm doing that, I'll see some other things I want to do on this too that I'll bring up. But that'll be for the next video. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, I see most of my viewers are not subscribers. They just come by seeing the videos or anything else. Crush the like button if you'd like. Comment down below. As always, I love hearing from you. And thanks for watching. That means a lot. I'm coming up on 900 subscribers already. And that means a lot to me. That people take their time to watch my videos. So, in all seriousness, thank you a lot. Anyways, I'll see you next time on Chad's Trains and Things.